I think that's the thing is probably like Catherine makes Angela talk to people and then Angela's more like, okay, let's like chill out for a second, and please. I think the dynamic is a lot like ours, but yeah. locked <laughs> because I'm more the introvert and she's more, yeah, the, extrovert. more the extrovert. So <laughs> what can I say? But it kind of is that dynamic. Definitely. I feel like just opposite. Yeah. When you're doing your, you know, your character research and you're getting into the role, not only do you have to discover who Catherine is, right? So that's one. You've got to know who Catherine is. You've got to know who Demon Catherine is. And then you've got to know everything in between. Because obviously there's stages. We have like stage one, stage two, stage three. Like we have all these stages. And so I kind of wanted to create um, so you could clearly see where these stages were, but also they blend together very well in a very true way to, I guess, how it would when you're possessed. So it was like two main characters to build, but also all these different characters and variations in between, um, which is something that was so cool to do. And my YouTube search history is like <laughs> weird possession videos, but, you know, I have an excuse. <laughs> I think that's what David is also great with is he yeah. shows us like what what he's thinking for the stages and the levels like he, I think he told me once like percentages of how much we're crazy or something like that and that helps us sort of visualize the idea that we're going for because some scenes he'll have me do them a stoic way like just like no emotion and some scenes he'll have me do them as sweet Angela and then some scenes he'll have me do them super aggressive and so I think that sort of shows how fluid it is. I think the makeup definitely helps because you have sort of a place to go to. But I think for the like 50% demon, I think it's more of a, that's, that's the fun part is finding how you can do that without like makeup to work. Like I have this big bulge on the side of my head. So sometimes in a scene, I'll like turn like that so like the light can catch it and everything, right? But when I don't have it, it's more fun to see the different ways you can show that aggression or that difference in mentality from regular Angela to demon Angela. I think that's the fun and challenging part is finding yeah. those differences, you know. I'm so excited for, um, I guess, the viewers to see all the nods and all the different mm -hmm. references in there. Um, because a lot of them aren't just put in plain sight. A lot of them you got to um, look keep your eye out for, <laughs> or listen closely. So um, I, think, I think it's really well done how it's something of its own, but it's also paying lots of respect to the original. Well, I am a huge Hamilton nerd. Huge. Loved it so much. And so I was so excited to meet him just because of everything, everything he's done in the past as well, though, in acting as well. Um, but it's really cool to see, like, he's the type of person to really get into his character. Like, there was, in, like you said, the emergency, um, the emergency room scenes, it's... Victor being reunited with his only family, basically. And so what he did on that day is instead of, that was one of the first few scenes that we had filmed together, actually. But on that day, since he's being reunited with Angela, he did not want to look at me. Like, wherever we were sitting, he didn't want to see me. He didn't want to um, interact with me because he wanted that fresh feeling of not having seen me, having gotten his daughter back, you know. And so I really respect people who take their character seriously because that just makes the film better in general. I hope it does have that impact that the original had. Um, and I also hope that people walk out of it um, thinking like, wow, they really paid respect to the original. They, they did its respects and um, shook it up. You know, when you just walk out of the theater and you like... Like, like shaking like, and all that. Yeah. Um, I think those are kind of, I think, the main things I, I'm hoping people can can feel when they're watching that.